is here, and that's what we're celebrating today. So all the things we love to do when the weather is hot and the days are lazy. So we're going to start off with a good old-fashioned picnic. Please welcome Leanna Lerperot. <laughs> picnic and I don't care if it is just in the backyard yes. or if you've gone to a park or you know you've gone to the beach you can have so much fun with a picnic and I, I just think everyone gets excited and my kids get so excited that we put food in a bag and yeah. took it outside <laughs> of the know, house right it's just a big deal and it's good food like it's, it's good, good healthy food. food and picnics are oh I don't know about the healthy part oh okay <laughs> Okay, no it judgment. Should it be. should be fun. Yeah, <laughs> it should be fun. Um, but picnics are really hot, whether you're an urban person, yeah. you know, in, in a big, big city, uh, copping a squat in the park and yes. having a picnic, or like you said, in your own backyard, or on a rainy day, a picnic in your living room. My totally, mom did that totally. when we were kids. Picnic styles. There's lots of different styles. You can do the Instagrammable, she-she, posh, posh, posh. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of work. It's um, a lot of work. <laughs> I mean, it's fabulous, but it's a lot of work. Picnic tables, old, old school, everything old is new again. Picnic tables are so hot now, people are adding them into their backyards really? again. They're embracing them. This one came from Home Depot. Okay. They're relatively affordable and you can stain them whatever your color. So you don't have to be a wood kind of picnic table. You can paint them white or gray or blue or purple or whatever yeah. floats your boat. So, um, so I wanted to do one that was centered around a picnic table, whether it winds up being in your uh, own yard or whether you actually go somewhere on a family picnic. Nice. There's a lot of gorgeous baskets. Oh my gosh, you pop on to Amazon or something and you look at those picnic baskets <gasps> it was almost, it was hard to choose there's so much pretty there's so much pretty you know why I bet you love them and you're hyperventilating right now is because they're 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 organized <laughs> you're so right they come with all oh, like organizers yeah. like the glasses go here and the cutlery goes here we just had a therapy session that's exactly why I like them <laughs> breakthrough they're pretty cool but they're such pretty baskets and they have all the there's different kinds of course the traditional wicker ones you can get nylon ones on wheels that have Ooh. all of those you know accoutrement with it yeah. Um, and these are all gorgeous and they all do the job very well. Next, let's talk about setup before we get into the actual food. Okay. If you just have a blanket, a picnic blanket, a great tip, does any blanket you have in your home, doesn't matter, whatever you want, grab it, but also grab at like a dollar store, Amazon or something, of shower curtain and put it mm. underneath whatever blanket you have. Yes. So, oh, heads nodding, yes. yes. So That's you smart. don't get the wet bum, you know, yes. when you sit down, even, even on a dry day, you still get that moisture coming through so you can protect your blanket. Very good idea. Games. There's lots of packable games that are really affordable for something, you know, to bring with you. And lightweight. Lightweight. If you want to bring your own picnic table, if it's one of those, this is a collapsible one that actually folds ah. up into a carry-all. So with an umbrella. So you can do that. But let's let's center around the actual picnic table, the traditional wood one. Yeah. The first tip is for your for your picnic blanket, like to put your tablecloth, mm -hmm. this is a twin fitted sheet. And they fit. Oh, oh no. <laughs> You've got a little give, whether it's a wider table or a more narrow table. Because yeah. of the elastic, it tucks in, okay. so you don't have that blow-up problem. So And Smart. super inexpensive. I mean, even grab one from your linen closet if you yes. want. Um, I printed it up with a little runner just because, you know, I'm Shona. But... Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So my whole point about this one is when you're packing the individual picnics, this is a zero waste picnic, okay? Because okay. that's important. There's lots of throwaway stuff in containers. Yes. So everyone has their own container. So we'll go through kind of what's in it. Again, these all these little individual coolers are just like lunch boxes. Where's my vodka? <laughs> 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 So you can see I packed everybody's, I'll give you a head to, uh, over shot so you can see how everyone's kind of in its place. If you're a family or a group or a couple that are going to be doing picnics regularly, I say invest in a, in these and the Tupperware that fit properly. So yeah. well, let's go through it one by one. First, to keep things cold, if you don't have ice packs, water balloons put in the freezer. That's so smart. And, oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Right? I love that. You freeze them and if you're on a picnic, if you're on a picnic with cards, and inevitably you're going to be wearing one of these um, afterwards. Yeah. You're just dying for that. I can yeah. see him. He's already like, ooh, is that melted enough to throw it? So that's your ice pack that's going to keep everything warm. 
Trick when you're having, you want some fruit. It's so pre-cut, pre-cut, pre-cut. Don't bring knives and cutting boards and all this kind of a thing. Right. These apples are pre-cut and there's a food safe elastic bands wrapped around them. Oh. And the reason why is to keep them together, but also it stops them from browning when they oh. keep them together. Smart. So, but the, like I said, these are food safe elastic bands. You want to make sure they're not, you know, the ones out of your drawer that are covered in pencil dust and yes. lead and all that stuff. <laughs> yes. Yeah, let's like keep, all of mine. Yeah, yeah. Let's keep things clean. Look at the little devilish look he's got. Okay. So obviously we have whatever beverage you want so yep. we'd like we like cans if we can because they're the most recyclable your waters are going to be in the water bottles reusable water bottles so you can refill them throughout your picnic right. here's a tip if you have room in your freezer fill the bottom of the water bottle with a little bit of whatever your drink is water yeah put it in the freezer and then before you go on your picnic top it up and that ice will slowly melt and keep your water cold for a little while um, when it comes to your straws, it's paper straws, okay? Yeah. No plastic straws anymore. We know better. Or the reusable uh, glass ones. Glass, metal. Glass yeah. ones might break in a picnic, but there's That's aluminum true. and silver. So yes. those are good, too. So we want to not do plastic straws anymore. Please, please, please. Okay. The napkin, cloth napkin, you that comes home with you. Look at you, fancy. Oh, <laughs> but it's not fancy. Toss it in the wash with socks. Yeah, that's like true. It's, it's, it, <laughs> that's you just true. wash it in your washer. I'm getting to my sandwich. Yeah, okay, you go ahead. Go ahead. So then you've got the Tupperware, okay? Okay. So plan ahead. Again, if you're buying lunch boxes for your family or for your group, plan ahead what Tupperware is going to go in here as well. Mm -hmm. This is the Rubbermaid Brilliance Collection, and they're 100% leak proof, Ooh. is why I like them. And I like mm -hmm. because they fit exactly in this. And they again, do. I know you're all going to ask. These came from uh, Amazon and stuff. Now, here's what we packed. So this, I just did a, this, you can choose whatever food you like. Mm -hmm. So, um, potato like salad, for example. Mm -hmm. Yep. I uh, did a little hummus with carrots. Mm -hmm. And what's interesting when you, you know, the world of, uh, like, food containers has changed. Like, they even have little dividers in them, which is amazing. Oh. See, that makes me as excited as the baskets makes you. <laughs> Because for the kids' lunch, you need the right containers, the right size yeah. for all of the little snacks you pack. And you it's, totally it, I love that little divider. Yeah, me too. It's so great. great. And they, they come out, by the way. And then your sandwich, okay, no problem. Whether you make it or you know what? Whether you just go and buy it. Yeah. I'm all about have here, fun. Here, here. It's about, I this, love that. This is about getting out and having fun and having an experience with your friends and your family or just by yourself or with your dog or whatever. Right. Whatever makes it easy enough for you to go outside and actually do this. I say do it. Go to the deli and grab pre-made salads, a pre-made sandwich, whatever you need, and package yeah. it up however you want. Um, and then again, just like the apple, a little cheese slices, pre-cut. Don't bring yeah. a knife and cutting board. Don't do all that. You don't need to. Just a little bit of uh, prep ahead of time, and you're good to go. And it's less work for you when you get there, so you can just have fun. Yeah. 